Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Huts, and we're playing Don't Starve. All right, I haven't played this for probably a week now, so I have no idea where I am. All right, so here we are. Uh, let's see here, I've got a, a boomerang. Oh yeah, remember I hit myself in the face and it took 30 health off because I was dumb and I, well, first of all, I thought that he would be able to catch the boomerang because that's what you're supposed to do, but it came back and it hit him right in the freaking eyeball. All right, so we have our ice box and see, we got some food. We just planted some uh, plants on our improved farms that we just built. And other than that, we really have nothing. And I was predicting that it was actually winter and not spring, but I'll have to pay attention to see if night's getting longer or shorter, because that'll be what really tells us. Um, I see, I could probably kill bees pretty easily with the boomerang, but now I'm afraid to use it because it's going to hurt me. Um, we could go ahead and... What do I want to do? How do I equip that? Can I... There we go. Um, what do I need? Wood would be a good thing, I think, because we only have 11 wood. We could make maybe some more chests. I'd actually like to make a crock pot and some drying racks. So I think to do that, we're going to need some wood, first of all. And... Other than the wood, we're gonna need some charcoal, so maybe I'll burn down some of this wood. Maybe, can I light the uh, evil flowers on fire? That would be excellent, because I don't want them to drain my sanity. And I don't want to deal with that whole thing over there, but I'm not sure. I'd have to make like a path of stuff to there, so maybe if, can I, how do I split up stacks? Can I do that? There we go. So maybe if I like, drop that there, and then drop this here, and then lit that on fire, maybe that would spread over there to the evil flowers. I should try that. Can I make a torch right now? No, I need, of course, the hay I just dropped. I need that. Um, where am I going to get hay? I'm going to probably go up here. That's that's a good, good area to go to. I'm going to grab all that hay, since we have absolutely no hay. No hay. And then I'm going to light it up. Light it up, up, up. I'm on fire. Let's see here. Do we have sticks? Oh, we have plenty of sticks. We got plenty of rocks, plenty of flint, berries. That's good. I don't think we have too much food on us right now. Uh, I wonder if these bees are still mad. Yeah, yeah, he's chasing me down. Shit. Uh, where was that hay? Right over here. Okay. Hey, hey, girl. It's like all gone because I think I grabbed it last time. Okay, it's going to be kind of annoying to have this axe talk to me all the time, so I'm just going to unequip it. Alright, I think I only needed two, but I might as well grab more, because I'm going to need hay in the future, if there is more to grab. Yeah, I think there's some up here. I could start um, digging up some of these berry bushes, too, and bringing them back home. I think that would be beneficial. But, uh, yeah, so drying racks, and I could start um, making some traps and getting some some uh, bunnies, because that's really, really good for your sanity, for the, uh, I think it's like 10 sanity per, um, dried meat. Also, getting a flower farm would be really nice, but I'm gonna need some silk to do that. And I do think I actually got a bunch of silk. Heads up, heads up, whoa! I got a bunch of silk from, um, when I was a beaver, I killed a bunch of spider nests, so. Jesus, bees everywhere, man. I wonder if that's strictly because I destroyed their nests, that they're just kind of walking around now. Alright, I think I might have actually just heard a wolf as well, which could make things interesting. So what was I just going to do? I got the hay. Oh yeah, cause so I could light up that, light the place up. Let's do that right now. Now we can get some charcoal, and I can use charcoal on um, drying racks and on... Okay, wow, that did not spread like I thought it would. Drying racks and on the drying, or the crock pots I need charcoal for. Let's see if I can just light this, like this. There we go. That'll take care of it. Oh, I got some butterfly wings as well, which is good. Alright, so now I don't need to worry about those draining my sanity anymore. Of course, I could have picked them and then turned it into nightmare fuel. But I didn't really want to do that. Because that would have really severely hurt my sanity. Okay, the ash, whatever. I'm not really too excited about it, but you can use ash to make a healing salve. And I am hearing wolves, so we're going to book it up to the beefalo, I think. That would probably be the best case scenario. So let's equip our spear, just in case we don't make it for some reason. 
And, oh crap, we need to eat some food. I'm just gonna eat these berries and then pick this carrot here. And hopefully we are good until we get back after the wolf attack. But, oh my gosh, it's turning nighttime. Only have 67 health because we took the boomerang to the eyeball. Let's grab this carrot. All right, hurry up, run! Ignore the bees. All right, this should be fine. I usually do just fine with wolf attacks, especially when I know where the beefalo are. <laughs> Does take a little bit of skill though to, to maneuver it so that the bee or the wolf uh, bites the beefalo. Any second now, they're gonna just charge me. Oh my god! Hopefully, there's no special additives for uh, Reign of Giants. All right, let's find a pack. I don't want just one of them. I want like a bunch of them because they need to gang up on them. Beefalo. Uh oh, here they are. Here we go. That's the pack I'm looking for. Get them, beefs. Get them. All right. So you have to wait until they attack. There we go. <laughs> Owned. Not a very smart wolf. All right, now get this one. Get him quick. God damn it. Tricky to try to get him to bite the beefalo. Come on, bite him. And come on, he's gonna do it. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Owned. Just owned. All right, we got a tooth. We got a couple monster meat. That's pretty good. Um, you can use monster meat effectively in crockpot recipes if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, it's probably just gonna turn into monster lasagna and hurt you. It does a number to your sanity and health, I think, maybe? But, like, it does heal your hunger. If I remember correctly. But I, I do have, um, status... Well, okay, this is the always-on status here. But I have display food values as a mod on. So now I can look at it and it says, you know, health minus 20. So there's no, no guesswork. But there is still guesswork when you're trying to make a crockpot recipe. Alright, we have just enough time to make it back home. I don't really have any food. And it'd be nice if I had some more stuff so I could uh, make a butter muffin with the butterfly wings. But I don't think I have enough. I, d I don't have a cro crock pot, so it doesn't really matter. Alright. So we didn't really do too much today. It's kind of a bummer. Let's see, I'm going to burn the pine cones. And then, what am I going to do? I'm going to cook this up. I'm going to hope that bee goes away before he tries to summon his brethren to kill me. And I have I have some food in here. I've got some green caps if my sanity gets low, but it's lucky that my sanity is so high right now. Let's see here. Let's put the seeds away since I don't need them. And I could probably make another improved farm. That would be it. Uh-oh. What just happened? Is it a full moon? Oh, okay, it's a full moon. I was like... Why the hell did I just turn into the frickin' werebeaver? Oh well, um, I don't remember where I wanted to go. Uh, maybe like down to the left? Let's try to go down to the left and see how far that goes. Because I, I can't access the map, which is a shame because there are definitely some places I wanted to explore. Okay, this is okay. I'm not too worried. We have a pretty good base set up. As long as we make it back before we die, obviously. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Apparently these uh, mushroom trees grow during a, a full moon. All right, let's see if I can get these uh, birch nut trees to come alive. That'd be really interesting. Also, I, I wish I knew like if there was a, a site for uh, was a, a grave site, that'd be really interesting. Maybe I'll kill this mole worm. Okay, he drops food, which is probably gonna go bad by the time we're able to get it, but oh well. Oh man, I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, man. That's gonna come back and get me. Alright, so what is our plan? I guess just to explore the map. I could I could uh, kill some of these, but I think I think if they're level 1, which they are right now, you can tell what level they're at. Um, based on how many tiers are in the spider nest. This is a level 1 spider nest, so I'm gonna leave it because I don't want it to go away. Oh, you know what? That's Weber's skull. I need to get that, and then I need to bury it at a grave site, and then I'll unlock Weber as the character. That's pretty cool. I'll have to remember that. Such a shame that I can't at least grab, like, one thing as the beaver. This kind of looks like it's a dead end. 
Alright, let's eat up here so that we can survive longer. Alright, something big would be really nice to run into. Like Pig King, or the Chest Biome. Something, man. Okay, looks like the lower left kind of dried up. There's not really much over here. Maybe we'll go upper right then? Or I think we already explored the upper right. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe lower right would be a, a good spot to explore. Alright, yeah, let's uh, test your luck and try to go down this other area. I want to run into another cobblestone road so that maybe it would take us to the uh, Pig King. Other than that, we don't really need to be the beaver, but, I mean, since it's a full moon, and it happened anyways, you know, we might as well just do it. Alright, so we made it back to our base, and now we're gonna go to the bottom right area. Looks like we have some durians back at home that grew in our farm, which is kind of worst case scenario, considering it... I think it hurts your health when you eat it, because it's so stinky. Apparently they're like, in real life, they le legitimately are one of the smelliest fruits ever. And it's like, painful how bad they smell. So since this is the uh, Reign of Giants DLC, it'd be a good thing to turn into the beaver to take them on, right? Because if we died, we wouldn't really die. Oh, can I use wormholes as well as the beaver? That would be cool. I could probably take on these guys pretty easily. Maybe. There we go. Um, yeah, they're not doing too much damage. <laughs> oh my god, I can come back and get just frog leg galore. Oh, bad. Here's a uh, tier 2 spider nest. See if I can lure some of them out. There we go. Spiders for days. That's gonna be tons of silk. I definitely have to come back down here and clean that up. Sweet. All right, dead end. All right, just tons of spiders. Holy crap! I actually need to eat. Eat, eat, where beaver eat. And like I said before, the best place to kill the spiders is outside of the little spider creep area. Otherwise, they will, uh... We need to aggro them to, to get them out here. Otherwise, you have to go onto the creep to get the stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm about to die. I'm about to die! No! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my gosh, wow, 12 health? Holy balls. That's a lot of monster meat, too. It's probably gonna go bad by the time I get down here, but... The, uh, silk is the most important. Oh man, that was close. Alright, let's see if I can find someplace else. It's like a potential pig village here. This road's a really good thing to see. Oh yeah, it's continuing. Good, good. No dead ends. Okay, here's the walrus camp. So during the winter, I'm not really sure what they do. Do you guys know what the walrus camp does? I have no idea, personally. So we got some pig villages. We kill some more spiders, I suppose. Oh, low in health again. Not too bad, though. There we go. The spider glands are really good for making uh, healing poultices. You need spider glands, and you need ash, and you need um, one other thing. I'm not really sure what that was. I forgot, but those two things you definitely need. Definitely worth to dig up these um, gravestones, because I think you lose 10 sanity when you're not a werebeaver. This just keeps going. Of course it ends when I say that. All right, so we're going to head back. Maybe go to the upper right this time. I'm not finding where this map continues. I know it has to continue somewhere. Where is it? 
Sometimes on playthroughs, I spend like the first eight days just walking around the perimeter. Because if you always follow the edge, you'll find the entire map. At least uh, the outside of the entire map, so you'll know what you have to work within. But it, it's risky because it takes you eight days, like I said, and then, you know, on the, what was it, like the 20th day or something, it turns into winter. So you really are not that prepared for surviving. So you, you have to be, like, really lucky and have just, like, the best setup ever to have the time to spend to explore like that. I'm really looking forward to uh, running into these giants that I hear about. I hope I don't just get slaughtered right away and then the game ends. It's so tricky that this game is permadeath, so like, I want to do the best I can and not die because I want to have an interesting let's play of it, but it, it, it causes me to be so cautious, but then it, it's, it's not interesting because I'm being so cautious. <laughs> So there's just a dichotomy there where I, I don't know, you know, if, should I be more risky and make it interesting? Should I hold back and not die? Oh man, 20 health, I am not paying attention. I'll just dig these up. I think that gives me 10 per. Yep. Some trees, that's good. Okay, I think I already been up here all the way. I'm just going to explore just a little bit, to all the way to the right, and then maybe go all the way to the left. Well, that didn't take long. I'll see if this goes anywhere over here. You missed! Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Oh no! 